peace, 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 everyone. You already know this is a class. This class is hidden colors. We're showing different parts of um, religion of white supremacy for you to get a better understanding why it exists today. Where it came from, we're breaking it down little by little so you get a better understanding. I left off here this Nelly Fuller Jr. I always told y'all to get this book. Get this book is important. The United Independent Constitutory Code System Concept. The textbook work for, for thoughts, speech, and actions for victims of the racism or white supremacy. A lot of you keep thinking you know what racism is about. You think because you call somebody white, you think you call somebody black, that's being racism. You have no clue. Racism has nothing about calling somebody a name. You call somebody, oh, fat, skinny, tall, bald. You think that's racism? That's being ignorant and just, you being ignorant and being tolerant just as a bunch of name calling people. That's all you're doing. Unless you're controlling people and forcing them, as it was clearly shown here in this document, you're forcing people from out their comfort zone. You're forcing people to now not to believe in themselves. You're forcing people, you're taking away their spirituality or religion, how you want to call it, and then you lie to them and put your imprint on what you think religion is. And if they don't yield, you destroy them. You think you know what racism is. You think you truly know. Hmm? A lot of you have not a clue. But understand, this is why we're having these classes. It's for you to understand. It's not about we sitting up here talking about white people, this, white people, that. No, ain't no, it's not such things, no white Jesus. All this was put upon our people. Forced. Raped. Killed. In humane ways. For thousands of years. And yes, even though we don't like talking about it, our own people started it all. But remember this. Understand this clearly. When our people were selling, <clears throat> they didn't lose their religion. They didn't lose their heritage. They still had it. That is the cleanup what we need to discuss. When our people done it to each other, they did not do it in a human way of destruction. Let's get back into the book of Neely Phillip. You need to get that book. Use the idea of white supremacy being a religion. And by saying that white supremacy is a religion, that means that it's a belief that's backed up by power, that's backed up by action. And that action and power negatively affects people who are of melanated descent. The relationship between black and white Americans um, it's almost like an abusive marriage uh, where each partner needs the other one. Uh, you know, a, a husband that beats his wife, sometimes he may love his wife. He don't want her to leave. He wants her to stay in the relationship, keep getting beat. You know? and, and she may also be codependent as well and, and really, really love her husband, be more loyal than a woman who's being treated well down the street. Why? Because she knows, uh, in her mind, she knows her place. And her place is, uh, is not one of, 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 of dominance, it's one of subjugation. The genetic signature and the mind of the genetics has the will to continue and that it becomes strongest when puberty hits. The will to, uh, to continue to procreate becomes so strong that you would kill for it. So the genetics of a man who in his mind fears the death of that thing that makes him unique he will become as vicious as necessary to save and preserve that. Well, Sheikh Anta Diop uh, teaches, us, uh, teaches us about um, the sun people and the ice people. Uh, so what gave him the momentum is psychological disposition that came out of that ice age. So for sun people, African people, um, African people, what was their psychological disposition? Living in the warmth, very little clothing, 
could just go outside and pick a fruit, as Dr. Ben would say, because there was this abundance. Whereas for ice people living in the caves uh, and hills through the ice age, developing that disposition, the first thing they had to go out and do is kill. Imagine if a group of battle-hardened soldiers from Vietnam who've been in Nam for 10 years, you know, uh, walked into a, a church where everybody's loving and hugging and being peaceful. Um, who's going to win that battle? You know, uh, who, who's going who's gonna to eventually dominate that church? The soldiers are, because they're going to come with weapons, they're ready to fight, uh, they've gone through hell, uh, they've got battle tactics in hand. Um, you know, the people in the church may not even know they're in a war. But that's what I see when I, when I look at Europeans versus the rest of the world. Europeans have treated the world horrifically. We know that, uh, what they've done in, in, in Africa, in South America, North America, etc. But if you keep going further back, you look at how they treated each other, it's, it's astonishing. I mean, they basically had about a thousand years of complete ignorance, savagery, uh, self-destruction, community destruction. We also got to be very clear about the terms we use because when I use the term white supremacy or white supremacist, that's not to say that all white people are racist or all white people are white supremacists. That's incorrect. But <laughs> Here we go. Clearly you heard the brother, Naik, Excuse me. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Tyreek Nashi, you clearly heard him. Tells you clearly. And let's make it clear again for the viewers and the people who was watching this DVD, watching the class. I couldn't wait till this moment came in. White supremacist system me, has nothing to do with all white people. This is what so many of you do not understand. And the brother's about to break it down for you. <coughs> it does not have to do with the whole, excuse me, whole entire, the whole entire white population. It does not. Let's get back into that. People who do choose to practice white supremacy are more powerful than the white supremacy are more powerful than the ones who are not and a white supremacist is someone who believes through speech thought or action that they should be in a superior position over people who are non-white when you're constantly at war you go, your, 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 your battle tactics gonna be stronger you're gonna have more weapons and more advanced weapons so they then take this uh, this ideology as well as this weaponry, as well as this skill set into the world, and they go to places where resources are plentiful, so you're not fighting for territory necessarily in Africa or in North America. Native Americans really were not big on the idea of even trying to own land. Like, no, the land is here. The, the land's for everybody. The buffalo, there's plenty of buffalo. Just kill what you need, you know, right? So you've got people kind of with this mindset that's not prepared for this sort of, um, you know, savage, uh, you know, battle-hardened mentality. So. Uh, it's really easy prey for, for the Europeans. Well, as it relates to uh, domination on a physical level, as it relates to torture, murder, mayhem, as it pertains to a society that has no order and arrangement, then they would have some form, if you look at the word dominance, they would have the word dominance. The question is, as it relates to honor, integrity, and dignity, is that the type of dominance that you want? If you want to create the type of society that inbred is about to implode on itself because of the nature of the conditions you've put on people, then you would have to use the word dominant. And I would use the word dominant. But if you're looking for the society that I believe is balanced within the forces of nature, then they are not dominant. In fact, they are inferior to the fact because eventually nature is going to take back what they attempted to steal. You cannot cancel the future. You can only postpone it.
Now, I'm the first chapter, and that's all I'm going to show you on Hidden Colors 4. On religion and its white supremacy. It was clearly told, it's clearly explained the difference between harmony and ruthlessness. It was clearly told where European people come from. They just didn't pop out of nowhere. They came from African people who went north and got trapped in the ice age. It's clearly told how the Europeans went into the Dark Ages. It was clearly told how when they came out the Dark Ages, when they came out, basically a vengeance. It was like locusts. You had the Vikings and Sax the Saxons. Hmm? Romania. Geran Ger I believe it was Geranima. No, German. Germania. I believe because I've seen it in the book. So it wasn't always German. It was like Germania, Romania, Yugoslavian. Um, you had all these different, um, you had Spain. But all these European countries just didn't pop out of nowhere. They all was fighting each other. Clearly explain. See, we don't discuss that. Now, they'll show you movies like King Arthur and The Round Table. You don't even have a clue who they was fighting. The British, what did you call British? It was called Burr, the British. Was a Brit, Britina, something like that. If I'm wrong, correct me. The British, the Britain, right? You have German, the Saxons, huh? <coughs> you have the Romans. So many different European groups, but these groups, the Vikings, they had the concept in mind, we need to come in and take them control. They were warring with each other long before they even came to Africa. They were warring with each other because it was all about control. Control resources. Sparta, right? Greece. You go on and on and on and on and on. Hmm? All these European groups they went to war with each other Troy hmm? <coughs> excuse me <coughs> understand the concept when they got thousands of years of war but here we're in Africa we living in this peaceful sun the land of milk and honey for real the land of milk and honey, we just live in this peaceful harmony life where these monsters, peaceful people, yes, they spawned from us. But when they came out from the Ice Ages, it wasn't us no more. Understand this. Understand. You've seen it here. You've seen it here. Look at Britain. They've been going to war for everybody because of domination. You want to dominate everybody. You want to take it and steal it. All these islands with these indigenous people, they went there and destroyed these people. They come in there with their foolishness of their so-called religion. They come in there with them liquor bottles, booze, and so on and so forth. To tell these people... You need to follow this white God. And before I get off, did y'all see when they were showing the church and the pitch in the background, it was a white Jesus, a white Mary, and they were black African people? This is Chocolate Amon Ra. This is class. 
Remember, understand.